G'day ladies and gentlemen, Tim from Bozu Garage here. I've got the MG4 X Power on loan for a week. This is the twin motor, front and rear motor, four wheel drive, high performance electric hatchback that is apparently blowing people away. Just what you need to get to the shops and take the kids to school. I'm gonna take this for a week. We're gonna compare it against the blue MG451 Excite that we have at home, and we're gonna see how it performs. It's gonna go well, no doubt about that. But if you have anything specific that you'd like to find out about or ask questions about, please leave a comment below and I will see if I can help you out with that. <laughs> Good morning everyone, welcome to another wonderfully warm November day here in Melbourne. We are on the way to pick up an MG4 X Power. Uh, thanks MG Motors Australia for uh, lending me the car for a week. We're going to compare the X Power, the X Power, to our base model uh, MG451 XI. We're going to see if it's as good, as fast, uh, as crazy as everyone seems to think it is. Who knew you could get a supercar beating Electric little hatchback for, I don't know, 60 grand, 65 grand. Uh, yeah, maybe even better value if you can Novate, lease it, salary package it, EV benefit, uh, state benefit. I don't know. There's all these extra um, incentives, I guess. Love petrol. Uh, yeah, all these extra incentives to have a, an electric car in this country. <laughs> of course, without Victoria, because they cut out the $3,000 EV grant a while ago. Anyway. I hope they give me a green one. Yeah, cool warehouse. Oh, is it that one? Mm, no, not that one. That's a 64 in white. Ah, that's a bit noisy. Uh, oh, I like that. Uh, <laughs> that is an LS what? 400, 500, whatever. What a machine though. The Lexus, beautiful car. Uh, oh, I don't know. Maybe that one? Hmm, sounds like that one. Perfect. It is black, <laughs> obviously. Yeah, first time I've actually seen a black car in the flesh and the first time I've seen an X car in the flesh as well. I know there have been a few deliveries around the country already. Not many. There was a stop sale order because there was a part missing or something that needed repairing. I can't remember the facts of that exactly. Um, but I think they are back on sale and deliveries are ongoing as we speak right now. Uh, let's do a quick exterior walk around. Front, uh, really not a great deal different from my MG451 Excite. But you can see there the vertical indicators, uh, daylight running lamps, whatever, they are not present on the 51 model, only on the 64, the 77 and the uh, X-Power. This one here would also have the active shutters in the grille. So on my car, the 51, that's actually clear, air can go right through. Uh, on this model here and I think the 64 as well, that will actually open and shut as the car determines it is needed for aer aerodynamics, uh, cooling, uh, everything else too. Mirrors are folded in. Again, that is not present on the base model. Nice feature to have. And the wheels. So no aero covers on these wheels. These are 18 inch, I believe, with at the front 235, 45 um, tires. Bridgestone Chiranza, decent brand, which is good. And the uh, very, what's the word, controversial, I guess, brake calipers, which are brake caliper covers. Uh, as you can see, if we look within, there you go, we pretty much have the same brake calipers as the standard 64. These rotors here, actually quite a, quite a big diameter, uh, vented rotors, you can see by the hollow, uh, hollow disc rotors within. Let's have a look at the rear wheel. What we have here, matching tyre size, 235, 45, 18. Again, no aero cover, pure alloy wheel. And when we look back here, do we have... Yeah, another orange brake cover over the standard calipers that we have there. Uh, that's probably something we'll talk about in another video. A lot of people very upset by that. Oh my god, how can you put fake brake caliper covers over a standard brake? Oh, well look, you can. Is it a good idea? Is there enough braking as it is? We might find out. When we look here on the side of the car as well, another little detail that I didn't know about earlier, the insert here is a matte 
kind of silver. Nice. Also, the lower cladding is uh, color coded, I believe, to the color of the car itself. Whereas in the 51 Excite, it is plain black plastic all the way around with um, a little bit of silver coloring going on in there. Moving around to the back. Now, this is what I actually quite like. The base model MG4 does not have the dual rear spoiler, which I do actually quite like. Uh, the base model has the middle brake light, but all that is missing here. So that, that's something I might add on later. When we look at the roof, well, it is all color coded, so it's all black top to bottom. It's dual tone in the 64, black roof with a white body, orange body, blue body, whatever else you picked. Pretty stealthy, I guess. And when we look at the rear light bar, the LED does continue all the way from one side to the other. Again, really nice feature with a little insert in there. If we hit the unlock button, yes, we do get it all lighting up all the way around. And the red lines on the top do light up. So that'll look pretty neat at night. Uh, yeah, really nice look at the back with that continuous light bar, except for the gap for the MG logo. I believe the German word is Heckensplend or something. I'm sure I've murdered the pronunciation of that anyway. No real difference on the bottom. We've got the rear diffuser across there with a reflector or fog light. Mm, I think maybe the base model doesn't have that. We'll have to go home and check. We'll do a side-by-side -side comparison of the two cars anyway. So that is it. The exterior of the MG4 X-Power. I don't believe the car is any lower than the standard base model, but... Really, do you want it any lower than what it is? That front splitter is actually kind of low. I haven't scraped it on anything yet, but it may happen. Oh, and again, another uh, detail. So on the base model, that is like a carbon fiber style print with a matte black plastic lip on the X-Power, painted to body color with silver inserts. A little bit of, a, little bit of an upgrade or maybe just different. Um, I actually quite like how the, the base model one looks. Anyway, let's go in. Um, have a quick look at any interior differences too. Feels like a quite a serious interior. Uh, no light upgrade. <laughs> I've still got nothing in the back for the back seat passengers. That's okay. Anyway, let's start from out here. Mm, we've got a. Alcantara microfibers micro suede type insert here that that feels quite nice actually uh, similar to what's in my model 3 no change to the upper plastic here that's fine silver insert door handle door release so yeah the only difference on the door is that oh and actually when we look closely the stitching color here that looks like a ready orangey kind of color which is blue I believe in um, in my car and all the other MG4 Excite. The seats themselves, well, same style of seat, but different finishing. We've got that sort of microfiber Alcantara style insert here. Feels really nice, actually. And a leatherette vinyl, uh, artificial leather style bolstering on the side. Again, feels quite good. Airbag in the seat. Uh, yeah, maybe leave your sheepskin wool covers for another car. Matching stitching on the armrest in the middle here and the back seat. Again, the matching insert and leather style on the back. Don't you love that rear view? I mean, if you can see around all the, the headrests which are there. Again, that's why I've removed the headrests in my car. You can't see anything out the back like that. Anything different on the dash here? Feels about the same. Same, same, same. It's electric in case you've forgotten. This one here has the QI wireless charging, which, which the base model doesn't have, but we've still got the little grommets or inserts here. You should be able to, uh, one-handed is always a bit more difficult. Uh, you should be able to plug in a cable from the USB-A or USB-C, run it up through there, through the hole, and plug it in if you do want wired charging as well. No difference to the centre console. We do have sport pedals there. They're quite nice. Uh, brushed aluminium with a black rubber insert. Uh, yeah, I might upgrade the base model to have that look as well. Same steering wheel. I 
have been nice if they'd put a coloured insert here or moved it up to the top or, you know, just, just something to make it a little bit different. It, it's still a really nice cabin. I, I've, I've always had the opinion that the interior is quite well designed, up market, minimal, simple, gets the job done without any extra bells and whistles that you don't need. Um, after a while, I've actually thought it might have been nice if there was actually a physical temperature control apart from just on and off it would have been nice if there was temperature up temperature down but there isn't easily adjustable with the shortcuts by using these here to adjust your temperature anyway uh, another thing which would have been nice um, I always love having like a sunroof or a convertible having a glass roof moon roof uh, sunroof of any kind would actually have been a nice option I, I certainly would have picked a model with a sunroof if, if it was available but it isn't and uh, look, maybe in a future update, who knows? Yeah, a powered lift back would have been nice. That's actually quite heavy with the spoiler on it and uh, maybe a little bit hard to lift one handed. In the rear of the car, no different to the base model. Uh, oh, actually, the base model doesn't have the dual level adjustable boot floor. So this one does, which is nice. You can have the boot flat and level there, or if you want a bit of extra space, you can shove it down underneath somehow. Charging cable, oh, I've got my own, I'll use that. So why the X power? I think we all know why. Lots of power, one more motor than every other MG4. It has the front and the rear motor. Under the bonnet, well, let's have a look under here. Now, that is a bit different. You can probably just make out that, which I reckon is the front motor. If we look a bit lower, a little bit hard to tell, but we should be able to see the drive shafts going to the front wheels somewhere in there. So yeah, front, rear, engine, motor, four wheel drive, lots of power, something like 150 from the front motor, uh, 170 kilowatt from the rear motor, add it all up. That's a lot of power in a reasonably light car for, for an EV. EVs are always going to be a little bit heavier than their petrol car, of course. But anyone who's driven an electric car, you know what the instant acceleration is like. There's no waiting for the revs to build up. There's no turbo lag. There's no noise. It just goes. You put your foot down and you are out of here. Now, the question is... Should you get one of these? We're going to find out. We're going to do a series of videos, I hope, over the next week or so. The first one today is just going to be initial thoughts and the drive home. Uh, I'm going to take it on some of my favourite driving roads outside of Melbourne. We're going to put it back to back with Tina's MG4 Excite 51. We're going to see if it drives any better, any worse, any different to a standard model. And hopefully at the end of it, we'll come up with some recommendations as to whether or not you should consider the MG4 X Power for your next EV. Like a brand new car, only 546 uh, kilometers on the dial so far. Let's have a look at the main screen. Only a little bit different from the base model. Uh, it has navigation, which the base model doesn't have, but of course when you plug in your phone through Android Auto or CarPlay, you're going to get your own navigation anyway. Um, yeah, it, it's nice to have navigation as standard. Personally though, I think uh, Android Auto or CarPlay using your phone data, your phone Google Map or Apple Map will be far superior than any built-in navigation system. Uh, got some banging tunes about ready to go up. We've got some recording ready to go. Let's go for a drive. Oh, electric. Yeah, okay. <laughs> electric seats, nice to have. How does the car drive so far? Well, at the 10 kilometers I'm doing at the moment, well, no, different to the base model, 51 Excite. This is the twin motor version, the twin electric motor version. The standard one has a rear wheel drive motor only. So what is the difference here? Uh, with the front additional motor, when you put your foot down, in theory, there might be a little bit more tugging at the steering wheel, maybe a little bit heavier because you're not only turning the front wheels, but you're also sending power through the front wheels as well. So far, again, no different to the base model 51 Excite. Ah. Wow, okay, so <laughs> that's a little bit quicker than the 51 Excite when you put your foot down. I wonder if you heard that little whine, a little engine noise. Let's try it again. 
I also felt a tiny, tiny bit of wheel slip there, just as we took off, and that was reduced very quickly as the um, acceleration reduced. Maybe just a bit of traction control in there. I didn't see anything flashing on the dashboard at all. Uh, point and shoot performance, I think, is what the journalists like to call it. Is there lag? No. No. I think if you're going to be doing that party trick, you tell your passengers to put their head back on the headrest there, or people are going to complain about that. Well, we made it back home without any problems at all. How does it drive? Amazing. Just like a regular MG4, but with like double <laughs> the amount of power and double the amount of traction on the ground too. Certainly really quite different when you're taking off at the lights. You do not have to worry about overtaking. You do not have to worry about having a gap in traffic. You can make gaps with this car. It gaps everything in. You know what I mean? What a machine. We're going to take it for a drive pretty soon. Uh, we'll go out to the country. We'll go visit some local pubs. We'll go and visit some of the bakeries. We'll get some of the good old vanilla slices that I always go out for a drive for. Uh, we'll tell you how it handles then soon. But first impressions, yeah, wow, blows you away. Uh, Tim from Bosley Garage, stay tuned for the next video.